Hello everyone. And today we're gonna see how to place a new GPU or graphic card or a video card in our desktop computer or a gaming tower. So this is just a, a regular uh, computer. It's a um, desktop tower, it's an HP, not really a gaming tower. So I had a problem before with the um, with the HDMI, so I only have an HDMI right here, but I needed um, an extra one, not really an HDMI, but it's the display port for my Samsung right here. So I didn't have any access to place like both of the um, of the display ports. One is a display port, the second one is an HDMI, just to use both of my computer and my desktop tower in the same time. I mean my, my Xbox, sorry. So first thing, you need to take off all the cables or all the USB ports from your computer. You take this one off too, the power adapter, because you don't need any electricity running inside your tower. We're gonna take this screw off. Uh, it's not the right one. I'm gonna switch it. This one is gonna fit. So I think these days a lot of, of people they need a new CPU maybe for the for gaming purposes or for um, mining Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. But I really needed this uh, this new GPU just for um, display purposes. So I was always I always needed to switch both of the HDMI's in my screen or in my monitor to have access to my xbox or to use the computer so it was like a pain in the ass every time i need to uh, use my xbox or use my computer i need to switch this one so i always take this one off i pull it on again so it was like a pain in the ass so that's why i needed this one so just like a uh, good piece of advice guys please try to not touch this part right here with your fingers it's the most important important part in the gpu because you're gonna mess it up so we take the cover off this is the place where we're gonna place our gpu you need to crack these places right here so I had this one, the same as these ones right here before. So I needed to crack these ones and take them off just to have access. We're gonna click this one like this. We take this cover off too. So now we have access to, to the port. So this is exactly the port that we need to place our GPU. So make sure to put them in the right place. Now it fits. So I tried it to place it yesterday but I had a problem I don't have this cable right here so most of the cables I have inside for the supply power they are SATA SATA ones where it's rotating exactly let me see yeah it's right here Serial ATA SATA 
So I cannot plug this one right here. So I needed to order another one from from Amazon. That's gonna take the connectivity from here for the for the power to our new GPU. So let's see how we're gonna connect it. These ports will go right here. The other one on the same cable. Sorry, I don't have someone to uh, to hold the camera for me, so I'm taking care of things by myself. And they hope it's gonna work. If you have a gaming tower, I'm not sure you're gonna need these ones, because most of the gaming towers they have different kind of supply cables, so you don't you don't need to uh, to buy a, another one. Or some of the of the GPUs, they come with um, with cables. So let's try. It. the power button somewhere right here here we go it's running let's take a close look yeah it's running we're gonna see uh, if it's gonna work with the so this is the HDMI I don't have a problem with this one but I needed the um, display port so you see the difference you see here it's two different ones and the problem in my uh, samsung screen i don't have uh, two hdmi ports so i have this one and this one so i cannot use both hdmi's my xbox one and my computer one in the same screen so i needed different ones that's why i bought the the new gpu so we're gonna try it right now in the porch right here. Display port. I forget something so uh, I need to run my computer and um, install the driver first because this one's gonna need a new driver for sure so as you can see guys I needed to install uh, the driver for the for the new GPU so by this way the computer is going to read it so this is the driver right here called Nvidia graphics driver this is the version 528.02 so we're gonna launch it now and see we're gonna try to log in with our discord Now it's completed. So we're gonna check again if it works. We're gonna try the display port instead of the HDMI port right here. So we're gonna go and place it. And here we go, display port have been connected
here we go I think now we have a better picture so it's also like uh, it's gonna give you a good resolution for the picture like 4k and let's go ahead and remove this one we don't need it anymore Now we have the display port connected here. The HDMI, it's gonna be for the Xbox. Now, no more pain in the ass. That's it, guys. And I also installed the new, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hard disk. It's an uh, SSD one. I only had two uh, 256 gigabytes that I got with the, with the new PC, it's right here. I got like in total two uh, 56 gigabytes. So now I, uh, I bought a new one with one terabyte. I'm gonna figure out how to, uh, how to place the, the windows in the new one so that's it see you guys in the next video goodbye